lost it at the end there, not gonna lie. Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Not gonna lie, that uh, little last moment I grabbed a little bit too much front breakage. Check out the new pit bike, me and P. Diddy. We bought matching ones, and they're 125s. Uh, four speeds and they absolutely rip but as you can see the lodge this is where we're going to do our video today i have had first of all i want to say i've had so many people uh recommend foul fridays uh, we used to do foul fridays and what foul fridays were uh, i was always teaching you something about duck or goose hunting that you may or may not know and uh since uh the last one which was probably a year ago uh, yeah, since I moved to the new house, we've done a few, but I've just kind of let them go. And I want to get back into uh, the groove of the, the Foul Fridays. And maybe it won't be a directed duck hunting tip, but it'll be something to teach y'all or show you guys something. So today, um, I'm going to show you all my new mounts. I've got them hanging all over the ceiling above the kitchen, and I haven't showed anybody yet. They look sweet. It looks like a miniature Cabela's in there. Which brings me to my next deal. Uh, when I show you that, I'm going to show you all the lodge updates as well. Uh, I want to thank my cousin Anthony for helping me with all the electrical. I want to thank old killer Kurt uh, for helping me with all the mounts. He mounted all my snow geese that you guys will see. Uh, he mounted them for me and helped me hang them all, as well as all the other critters on the walls inside. I want to thank G-Wagon, old Gerald, for all of his hard work and effort constantly coming to town coming to the lodge and helping me crank out. I want to thank Brad Railsback for all of his help. He's helped me a ton with the plumbing. Uh, I want to thank my mom, my dad. They're always here helping clean. Uh, and I want to thank my wife, Beth. She's, uh, she's pretty amazing herself. All de constantly decorating, constantly cleaning. I want to thank uh, my best friend, Wade, for helping me spread all this rock. Uh, he provided his little tractor and a lot of people to thank, and um, it's been a blessing this year, it really has. But other than showing you guys the lodge, we're gonna take a few minutes here. I have had so, so many questions regarding the new ducks, duck, and goose calls. I have them all right here, and um, I'm pretty addicted to them, not gonna lie. So we're gonna run through them. I'm gonna show you guys real fast. Uh, I've shown you guys in the past few months, every now and then. Uh, and you guys really appreciated it. Uh, this year is our best line of calls that we have ever had. And I will, with a ton of confidence, say that uh, we have a full acrylic, we have Delrin, we got all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. So first off, a little disclaimer for myself is I do not claim to be the best uh, duck and goose caller on the planet. I just, um, I guess I'm just good enough to kill some birds. So. Uh, if you're better than me, that's perfectly fine. A lot of people out there are a lot better than me. Uh, the first call I want to start with today is our Ducks Next Gen uh, Duck Call. This bad boy is a double read, and this is actually our cheapest call on the entire site, which is $39.99. And it sounds amazing. Amazing little call. <laughs> call uh, honestly that's been my go-to call on the few duck hunts that I've done very easy blowing very beginner friendly and very easy to operate um, the next one up the only one that I don't have on my lanyard this right now which I'm gonna get it on my lanyard is uh, the goose call the Delrin do goose call and if you go to the site and you look you'll see that Delrin goose call it looks just like the Delrin duck call this bad boy here is also a double read, uh, 75 bucks for this bad boy. And uh, I'll tell you, um, sounds really raspy. It's very thick, very dense call. I 
like I can blow the you know what out of this thing. So I just want to blow it harder and harder. It's very loud. This Delrin call is extremely loud. It's fast too. Awesome call. Um, again, I, I don't want to say one of my favorites, but gosh, that thing operates great and loud. Very loud call. Sticking with the duck calls here, we're gonna go to our Pro Series Acrylic. This is a single reed, white. It's a creamy white call, totally fully acrylic, and it's our top of the line call, and you can probably hear it. Um, you can get a lot more, how do I say it? Um, you know, like the hen mallard when they got a full gullet and they, <coughs> you can get a lot more down south with it with a lot more like wheezing, uh, you can get really loud. It's got a lot of range in it. Let's hear it. A lot of range. I got to get used to it. Doesn't take near the amount of air a single read. It's a little more delicate. You can get a lot more quiet with it. try to do the little hiccup deal. <laughs> this one has a lot of range on it. Um, I need to honestly practice with it more because it being a single read, uh, I just have to get used to it a little more. But I can honestly say less air. A lot of less air. Um, it's a single read. So all of my single read guys know what I'm talking about. It's kind of one of them deals. Uh, when you become a single reed duck caller with a few years, you tend not want, what I'm trying to say, you tend not to want to go back to a double reed because you learn to operate it so good. Um, the last call I'm going to show you guys is our acrylic. It's a matching call, uh, goose call, and you can get very less, lesser, le, lessery with it. Uh, small geese, big geese, you can kind of do everything you want. <laughs> See how high pitched and loud that is? Now I also have it tuned uh, to smaller geese right now. The big geese, not so much. You can tune it honkerish. The more honker you want, you can tune it to it. You can get honkery with it, but I will say, gonna be my go-to goose call for the entire season. I love it, tons of range, extremely loud. All right, well, I'm out of breath, and I hope you guys enjoyed that little calling uh, spiff of mine. But here's the lodge. I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna flip on some outdoor lighting for y'all. Check it out, I'm very proud of it. Been waiting to show y'all. All right, so this is uh, the new addition to the lodge. I'm really proud of it, it looks great. And the lighting. The wife says I killed it with the lighting. Uh, a little dimmer wattage right here. I'm planning on building a wall, wall, and wall to close this in from the harsh north winds that we get because we need to grill out here and the grills need to be protected from that harsh north wind. I did put up a really bright LED light so it'll just light up this little closed in area for when we are grilling. And as you can tell, we put down a ton of white rock, which I still need to spread that stuff. Uh, new addition. Yes, a new doorway. Yes, and it goes straight upstairs to the bedrooms where you can come this way to all of the new mounts above my head. Check it out. I gotta say, old killer Kurt, he killed it. Uh, like he always does, no matter what he does. Uh, he killed it and he came in here with me and we did this together and as you can see we're right above the kitchen here I just want to kind of give you a visual and these two blues I shot these I shot all these new birds which let's see that's a new mount so one two three four 
five, six, seven birds. These two Rossies, check these guys out. They are flipping just like Rossies love to do. And everything's pretty much concentrated to a center area being the top of this light. So we're gonna put some more feeding geese up here, maybe some corn stubble on top and make it look like all these birds are landing on the light. That's kind of what it's doing now, but all these birds, uh, it was last year I got all these birds, most of them off of one hunt. It was a dry field Kansas conservation snow goose hunt. And then the other one I got probably a couple off of them uh, on a sheet water conservation snow goose hunt. And uh, we just shot all adults those two hunts. And that's kind of the thing about Kansas. We don't hold a lot of juvenile birds. Look, just like this blue here, look at him really into inner phase both of them they were killed together i'm sure they're in the same flock but we moved gerald's leucistic bird closer we didn't move my banded bird but we do have some more birds coming i have some ducks some special ducks i have the cinnamon teal i have a canvas back and preston has some ducks and i also have the brant geese we shot in alaska so when you walk in this door Check out, check out the view you get. Don't mind the ladder and everything because I've been getting down out here. Check out that, how cool. You walk in and that's all you see is just, boom, a big old flock of snowbirds just getting down. How sweet is that? I love it. I love it enough to want to add to it. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna add a lot of birds. Um, I want to keep them all snows. I think it's sweet. I want to fill in back up in there. I want to fill up up in here. I want to fill like in here. Basically, I just want a lot more. Because drop a comment down below. Doesn't it look amazing? I mean, especially when you're right here. You're eating your food, drinking your beverage. And right above you, you just have this. How sweet. I love it so much. Kurt, thank you. Old killer Kurt. He kills it, man. But, hope you guys enjoy the new mounts. This is also, sorry, a new mount. This is Gerald's mount. A blue, look at that cool blue. It's got like a diamond shaped chest. And then two adult snow geese. So, uh, this is in the new revamped room. Check it out. Um, boom, these are our old size uh, beds here. Just a twin. We bought some fulls, because last year, we had some much bigger boys than I thought we would. <clears throat> and um, yeah, duck hunters, a lot of them are big fellas. So this year we'll have an option in a, almost every room, it'll have an option for a full size and a twin. So whoever's in there can justify that amongst themselves. Just like in this one, we used to have a twin in the middle. Now we have a full. So now the full's in the middle, twin, twin. Looking pretty good in here. Uh, along with this video, I not only wanted to show you the new mounts, the calls, but I also wanted to answer a lot of y'all's questions. One question that I have a bunch is, hey, I've been inquiring at Sand Hill and I haven't got a response. Well, I announced, I don't know, probably two months ago that we were full. Uh, there has been some open dates, which I have called some people. Um, if there's any type of openings that happen, uh, you'll be able to find out first and foremost if you follow me on instagram at bobby guy films if you do that and you follow sand hill flyways on instagram uh th that'll be where i post a lot of our openings like if it's within the season november through february but as of now i know a bunch of you have inquired i haven't been able to literally call everybody back because we've been full and my concentration has been on the beautiful lodge so i hope you guys uh understand that which I'm sure you do. Uh, we only have so much availability each year, you know, so um, it, it goes fast. It really does. And I just want to say thank you for everybody that's booked a hunt here with me. Uh, this is a blessing and an honest dream come true. I get to live my life every single day uh, with what I love to do most, and that's hunt. And have you guys along for the ride. Which brings me to my next thing. We are remonetized. I've had a lot of questions. Hey, Bobby, you didn't really clarify. Yes, we are remonetized as of now. It's kind of, ugh, it's still not ironed out. It's still having some issues, but 
we are up and going again. So thank goodness. Um, as you can see, the old podcast, we've been firing up. Uh, we have at minimum two to three giveaway hunts coming up that we're giving away to the members of the podcast. If you want to join the podcast, all you got to do is go down in the description below. My Blind Talk podcast on Patreon is always linked in the description. Uh, you're automatically entered for the chance to uh, win one of these hunts that we gave away. We just gave away the Alaska hunt. was amazing. We're giving away another two goose hunts. So turkey hunt, pigeon hunt. It's awesome. And I love giving back on the podcast. It's a lot of fun over there. Awesome uh, stuff we talk about too. But thank you all for being here. I'm done blabbing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any recommendations for a Foul Friday, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what you want me to do or talk about. Guns, ammo, calls, decoys, whatever. But hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. Remember, all of the Ducks calls are linked down below. All of the Ducks merch is always linked down below as well. Thank you all for being here. Until next time.